but um, <laughs> has infid- has infidelity became more tolerable in this generation? Oh man, I, you, you want to go all over again? Man. Why are you? I definitely has, do think tolerable. infidelity mm-hmm. is has been more tolerable. I mean, social media and everything like that. Like once again, I know sugar babies. Like yeah, I was with this other girl. Yeah, I fucked her. I right, cool. Here's twenty thousand. Shut up. Let's go. Mm. Hush mm. money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Twenty thousand hush. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, mm. uh, let me hush. <laughs> <laughs> I was, Girl, why you talking about me on that show? Like, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> um, I would say it's definitely become more tolerable because people are uh, more open about it. It's not really more so as hidden, whereas before, like you would have to, you know, call on a landline, be like, "I right, meet me here at this hotel at this time." Now you got like What's it's so. <laughs> <laughs> but nowadays it's so readily accessible so it's just like okay people feel that they have options left and right and even if it's not like you know in depth where it's like yeah you know I feel like I could see myself with this person it's like oh you look good I want to do things to you let's link up alright cool especially if you know that you're dating an attractive person where it's an attractive man or attractive female you already know their DMs be going crazy mm. just off of how they look and depending on a person that's where self discipline comes in and it's just like okay I'm not going to throw my dick or my pussy at any nigga at any bitch that comes my way whereas there's some people that's literally what gets them off it's just being able to ex- not I don't want to say express themselves but being able to do whatever they want and like let's say you're in a relationship that I've had guys that was just like alright so yeah you know being with me entails this that and third you're gonna run across females you're gonna run across this and you know like I'm really and but I feel like what the problem is people aren't open and honest about what they want or what they're looking for and then that's where the problem comes in so if it's you're in a relationship and you know that okay this is supposed to be monogamous thing and you know that you're incapable of that at least disclose that as first you know mm-hmm. let that person choose but i feel like like i said because these options are here like swipe left swipe right dm here um tinder this instagram that it's just like Oh yeah, I just did it. Like I've heard it was so an accident. Like, yeah. yeah, I heard it was an accident. I'm like, how? I just fell. How? In the, I just slipped and fell in the pussy. Like how? <laughs> how? Please, I ha- oh, I know. I pulled the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> so because it's so accessible, people, I I feel like have lowered their standards and it's just like you know what? They're great in every other aspect. This is just sex. It has nothing to do with how they treat me or provide mm. for me. So I'll put up with it because everywhere else they're great. You you know how I knew there was a shift in this whole like infidelity thing because. You could arguably say now that women cheat more than men, right? You know, I've spoken to women, you know what I mean? Some women will admit it. Yeah, I might not admit it, but collectively, I think women cheat more than men because it's so easy. Like you said, it's so obsessible for y'all. Like, y'all got a thousand niggas in y'all DM. The nigga act up one day. Listen, you might entertain that nigga because he got on your nerves. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I think what... This is how I knew it changed, right? And let's go back to the women. When women started saying... Um, I'm single until I'm married. You know what I mean? To justify, like, listen, technically, I'm not married, so, you know, I didn't cheat. That's how I knew it was a change. I'm like, okay, the, the pendulum is, is shifting in this motherfucker because now all of a sudden, you single until you marry. Like, you know what I mean? But I was cheating the other day. I was a motherfucking cheater and all this other dumb shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know why, why niggas never use that. I'm single until... We should have used that first. Y'all been you know using I mean? it. Like, not? All right, nah. I because... Never. Because... Men know what they woman out there. So you say you single, then she's single. Exactly. And that is a fair truth. I mean, so you got to make sure true. you keep that lock on. <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts. Lock it down. Yeah. But, um, that don't work. I'm on what you want. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but um, I think, like you said, there's just a lot of more options out there. And I don't know. People are just coming to the, the realization that maybe monogamy might not be the natural course. Like, outside of the U.S., monogamy is not... Natural. This is basically like a U.S. thing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, here, just like, one man, one woman. But you go outside the country, like, I mean, people out there, you know what I mean? So, I think- <laughs> Isn't that yeah. like that thing, like the sister wives thing or something like yeah, that? That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, like, that's, that's, that's a culture. That's more thing. common, that's more common outside of the U.S. than it is, than, than monogamy is. I, I think more women 
and I, I know it's not y'all, y'all gonna say, no, nah, I mean, I get that. I think more women would tolerate infidelity as long as their needs are being met within That's that relationship. That's literally what I just yeah. said. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so exactly just when we had the Y Eli situation, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? She didn't care as long as her needs were being taken care of. Like, it's like, all right, whatever. Like, just don't bring no babies or STDs and all this other shit. Mm-hmm. Like, as long as my bills getting paid, you but, taking me out, doing all this. Like, uh, this go back to what I was saying earlier. As long as you happy, in these certain aspects, you're going to overlook other shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So you living that lifestyle, you're happy. All right, you cheating. All right, cool. You know what I mean? I'm still going on this vacation, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a fact, man. I'm like, so. Yeah, yeah I'm real quiet, man. I ain't. I'm listening. <laughs> didn't, you have a, didn't you have a story that you wanted to tell? Who, me? Yeah. On, on this particular subject? <laughs> You what? Yeah, you was talking in the beginning, like, damn, I, this shit too personal. Like, I mean, we gotta hear this person. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we remember, like, yeah. Um, and I kind of briefly touched on it already. Where I've heard that it's like, okay, I look like this, and these are certain things that are gonna come with me, and oh, okay. you have to, you know, not say brace yourself, but it's more so like, okay, be prepared for that. So, what and, was your response in that situation? I didn't deal with it. Mm. Oh, okay. So I, and and I I entertained it, but mm. it never got to the point of a relationship because I'll be fair, in that situation I knew what it was. I got the heads up. I had the choice at that point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, okay, at the time, like I said, mm-hmm. everything I needed was getting done. Mm-hmm. I knew I didn't want nothing further. So do whatever you're going to do. I don't want to find out about it. I don't want to hear about it. I don't need nobody bringing anything to me. Mm-hmm. Um I'd be your favorite, let's say. And you the main. Yeah. Mm. And because, like I said, I had that choice, it wasn't anything detrimental to me. But then once my emotion shifted and it got to the point where it's like, okay, I kind of just want you to myself now. I don't really want you out here. I We've been doing this long enough. I do think that I want a relationship. And dude was like, hold on. We had a good thing. Like, what's going on? And that's when it's just like, okay, this is where I need to remove myself. This is where I know I'm setting myself up to get hurt now because, mm-hmm. again, you're being honest. You're just like, hey, I'm cool with this. I don't need nothing more from you, and nor am I trying to pursue that. And I'd rather, you know, still be out here, but, you know, keep you in my corner. And it's just like, okay, I no longer fit here. Mm. I like that accountability. You know what I mean? We had, we had a woman on the show, and it was a similar situation we was talking about. And she was calling us a weak nigga because we going, we going, because the shorty kept coming back and giving us sex and we taking it. We supposed to be like, nah, 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 I'm going to hurt you. you know I mean? <laughs> Even though I'm being upfront with you, letting you know what it is, mm-hmm. I'm a weak nigga because you keep coming back to me and I'm, and I'm accepting it. Yeah, she was saying, oh, because you knew she has feeling. Even though you communicate to her, like, I don't want a relationship, mm. whatever the case is, and she, you knew she had feelings for him, you still kept taking the pussy. Like, you should have been like, oh, no, I'm good on the pussy. Like, well, it I don't was want, her like, choice I mean, to give it. Nah. Yeah. That's, that's what we were saying. Like, <laughs> I mean, she was speaking like, but, but from she, her own trauma. That's all. But, but she, <laughs> that was, shout out to you, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you heal. <laughs> we also, we also, we also. don't give him no more pussy. I think what's interesting, like, you know, sometimes... The attractive women, right? Mm. They you when they're dating a man, they will say something like, you know, if they're attractive women, you know they're getting attention from other men. Not saying they're entertaining them, but you just know it's a thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. So they'll be like, oh well, you knew, you know, you knew I was a bad bitch when you met me. You're being insecure because ah okay. uh, ah. Uh. But on the reverse end, if y'all deal with a nigga who y'all know is a handsome nigga, the women is on him. Mm. Y'all don't want to be wanting to deal with that, but y'all want us to deal with the quote unquote bad bitch or whatever the case is. So why, why do you think that's a, a double stand? Because we have women that say. <laughs> I like my niggas medium ugly. I don't like them. The, the, oh, oh no, they, like, you know they, they, they say that. You gotta match me or better stop it. Um, <laughs> um, wow, that's so funny. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm actually in something like that right now, where it's like we are like the bad bitches of <laughs> the bad. He a bad bitch. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let me not say that. He's <laughs> wait. He the bad bitch. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Obviously, y'all see how I am. Y'all see how I look. This is how I am on a regular. This is how I just naturally carry myself. None of this is for show. Not because I'm here. If we were going out to dinner, I'd be dressed the same way. Mm-hmm. Now. He is very much so on that same type of time. Very well dressed, very well groomed, put together. Literally, Mister put that shit on. Mm-hmm. Now, initially, <laughs> y'all need to stop. Now, initially, um, I was pursued. 
in the beginning of the relationship. And <laughs> <laughs> But now you're bad bitch. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> oh boy. Listen. So at the beginning of the relationship, I was the one that was like initially pursued, like, and I wasn't looking for anything at that time. Like I had just got out of something like really um not say traumatic, but like literally the situation I just told you about, uh -huh. where I told dude, okay, like I don't want to be uh -huh. just in your corner no more. That went, and he's like, I'm gonna still do me, and I left that. And so I was on my healing process at that time, mm -hmm. and then that's when we decided we ended up crossing paths. So now what ended up happening is that towards I would say before the relationship started, like still early in the dating stages, it became apparent just like okay, we're both like high caliber individuals you're a high caliber man i'm a high caliber woman we get that you have females on you i can see it it's happened in front of me you've seen men come on to me like while we were in the same space and the reason why that i feel like for me personally that's not an issue is because we both know how to carry ourselves in predicaments like that mm -hmm. whereas for me it's like okay a guy is gonna come up to me they talk to me all the time i just walking in here how many guys would try to stop somebody? That's like something that happens every day. Whereas a man, it's not that it's not that prominent that women will always shoot their shot. Mm. Not to say it doesn't happen, but as much as a guy would try to come on to me, it For doesn't. Sure. Yeah. So you as a man, you are either inclined or declined to pursue that. And it's what you do with that. So at the end of the day, it's like, okay, you know that you're him, right? Just like I'm her. Mm. And how you carry that persona is what I pay attention to. It's just like, okay, yeah, you could be him, but do you have self-discipline? Are you going to be respectful towards me publicly and privately? Are you going to carry yourself in a manner that's like, okay, even though the relationship may be private, are you going to let it be known that you're actually in one if somebody acts? Like, yeah. there's times where I've been with people and they're like, oh yeah, you know, you know, girls be asking me, am I single? And I just leave it on red or like, I don't even answer. It's just like, what's the point in saying, why couldn't you just say no? What's the issue with that? So even though you're not responding, you're still leaving an open door. Damn, so that, that's like a, that's a double, because if you reply, why are you replying to these bitches? Like, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't reply, then it's like, you know, it's no it's tough. Like, you know what I'm saying? No. He didn't reply. Like, he left it on well, He scene, left it on scene. Like, he wasn't like, entertaining it at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why so. Hold on. <laughs> that's not Why y'all want to act stupid? stupid? I'm not entertaining. So like, leaving somebody on scene is leaving the door open? My thing is, why not just say, you have somebody? What's the issue? Yeah, you can leave it on red and not reply. I think, I think no response is, is a response. No response. Is, I feel like in this situation, I'm going to agree with them. No response. That's a response. response. That works. If, if somebody out the bat, out of nowhere, asks you, are you single? And you don't respond, fine. If there's a conversation yeah. and they ask you that, and then you're like, well, let me not answer it. You're just avoiding it. Why are you avoiding it? Maybe the nigga getting what tired the of telling these bitches, about? like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but like, you were... yo, like, I'm, like, I'm just going to ignore it. Like, it's not, it's not even that deep. It depends like, on you know the context. Like, We're just going to leave it at that. Mm. Facts. I agree. It's really all about context. Like, I feel like certain men know how to talk. Like, they have this gift of jab where they like to manipulate a situation and justify their actions, even though they know that it's wrong. And then they'll do this thing. It's like, oh, you're being emotional or you're thinking too deep into it or just relax. It's not that serious. Whereas... I feel that men have this disconnect with women when it comes to stuff like that because what might be nothing to you could be principal to us. So like this whole leaving them on red situation. Mm -hmm. Like if a dude asks me if I'm single, I leave it on red. As a guy, you're just like, oh, she not even entertain that. It's whatever. It's cool. With me, I'm like, hold on. You're supposed to be my man. Why aren't you at least saying, no, you're not single? Yes, you're with somebody. Do you have to tell her that it's me? No. But clearly this person is interested in you. Mm -hmm. So... It, I would say, like, again, it's context, it's subjective. Me, personally, I feel like now you're just leaving a gate open because this person could end up spinning a block. It's like, oh, he probably just forgot or been busy. Come back around, start another little small talk, get back to this again. Then what? I think women women like the idea of the man being the prize, but they don't like the attention that comes with that, that. that man. Like You know what I'm saying? Like, What's wrong with that? What you mean was because you he's the prize. You know, most women are looking. He he's an attractive person. His uh -huh. finances is up there. You know, he's going to get that attention. I'm saying I'm not saying he's going to entertain it, mm -hmm. but again, that might if you're not a secure person, right? That might provoke. Oh damn, man, that that woman over. I'm I know I'm gorgeous, but she looked better than she me. Like you know what I'm heal? saying? So it's like, and she need to get that, her mind mental together. That's fair. Because if I carry myself to a certain stature, I want my partner to be nothing less than, if not better. Mm -hmm. As a man, teach me, lead me. 
if you're gonna if you aren't at I don't want to say at least on my level because you know everybody's on their different paths and on their own timing mm. but like you're not actively pursuing anything then yeah no nah, I'm not gonna give you a second look but let's just say like you said got the finances got the look got the drip got the car got everything cool now those are like again back to the very first topic that's all materialistic now how do you carry yourself how do you treat me how do you treat your family your friends where how does that all of that comes into play and even though you may be eye candy to these women cool that's perfectly fine just like to men i'm an eye candy i'm the prize but if you're falling into that and you're just you know dropping your dick in every bitch that gives you the the time of day or feeds your ego, I lose respect for you at that point mm. because you have no control over literally your ego. And mm. men that are ego driven, I feel like for me, that's kind of the biggest turnoff because now you have no self control. You are letting something that is in <sighs> trying to say this in a nice way. Um, you're letting something that's not, that's illogical rule you. Mm. And as human beings, that's what separates you from animals, that you're able to be rational. Now you're just going into an animalistic nature and just feeding into your ego, which craves and fuels your desires. And you have no discernment between what's right and what's wrong, because in your head, I'm getting what I want. And that's all that matters. Mm. Yeah, I think a, a egotistical man is a very dangerous man. But I think sometimes cause we, I, we had a conversation with women when you have that type of caliber of man, as a woman, you probably feel like you always have to constantly compete. You know what I mean? To stay at the head of the line. And I don't think a lot of women really want to constantly compete. Like, you get what I'm saying? Just like that man, you like being a prize because that man has to constantly show up for you like every day because if not, another nigga won't step in. It's the vice versa with women. If you're not always competing like or not being the high, your highest self, that next woman can come in and compete at the highest level. Right. Like, right now, with mm -hmm. that, what you just said, that is very, very subjective because I know with any man that I've come across that if I'm my true self for the full extent, they will never find somebody like me. And that's not even me gassing my head up. That's not me being egotistical. That's because I know who I am and I know what I bring to the table. And I'm not going to say I am the table because that's not really what a partnership is. We're both adding to the table at that point. Mm. So for me having to compete, there is no competition. The only person I'm competing with is myself. The only person that in a relationship I'm competing with is the woman that you met initially and to show you that there's better than just her. As far as anybody else goes, that's insecurity. That's where instability comes from. That's where if that man is not doing his job to let you know, okay, this is your spot. You got it. You're here. Then you're going to let all these intrusive thoughts run you. Mm -hmm. And that's when you feel, oh my God, what if I don't like do my hair this week and he sees me with like my meeks in, he's going to go to the next bitch because her wig laid. What? Mm -hmm. Meeks is crazy. That is... <laughs> <laughs> but that's but that's something personal mm -hmm. because if you know that what you have is so solid or like that person is genuinely with you for you mm -hmm. why should stuff like that matter why should that like i said why should that be an issue like if you're with me yeah you're gonna see me without my hair done yeah you're not gonna see me with lashes on yeah you're not I'm, bro i'm not waking up with makeup on i take care of my skin what are you talking about? i'm going to sleep with a bare face mm -hmm. you're gonna see that if you don't accept it cool i accept myself that way mm -hmm. there's no reason for me to feel like oh nah he's going with her because she looks better any that's all subjective mm -hmm. somebody i find attractive could be ugly as hell to her Who's to say that's not the same when it comes to me? Right, right, right. So when it comes to stuff like that, it really is really very subjective and burst based on the person and in the context of that type of relationship. Mm. It's really nothing that goes beyond that. It's yeah. really down to knowing the person that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That was actually that was I like that answer. That was pretty dope. Um, we do gotta get up out of here again. Let them know where they can follow you at. Uh, <laughs> All right, your, your, um, DM, uh, ah! your DM uh DM cock is gonna go up after this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, <laughs> you better uh, say no. Uh, leave them on red, right? Uh, ain't none of that for you. <laughs> after that speech. Um